Have you ever had those days where you're going to bike to school or to work or to the grocery store, but it's cold and rainy and you just really don't want to? It happens to the best of us. So before you grab your car keys or resign to hating your life the entire ride, here are my tips on how to love riding your bike even on the rainiest of days. The biggest reason many people give up on bike commuting is comfort. So let's start by wearing something that feels cozy and easy to bike in. If you need to dress up, bring your work clothes in your bag to change into later. Now back to comfort. Your main goal should be to protect yourself from the elements however possible. You want to feel happy, warm, and dry on your ride. Start by finding yourself a good raincoat and rain pants. I held off on rain pants for a long time, but they really are a game changer. If it's not too chilly outside, you can also wear swim shorts, bike shorts, or really any quick dry pants with a spare to change into once you get to where you're going. A rain jacket is also essential in my opinion. I got this one at a thrift store for a few bucks. It's one of those old school vinyl ones, and in my opinion, those are some of the best you can get. Do what works for you and what's in your budget to stay dry and happy. Next, you'll wanna protect your things, so go and get yourself some waterproof bags. I've been using Ortley back roller paneers for four years and they never go wrong. Wait until they're on sale and buy them, I swear you will not regret it. But if paneers are not in your budget, I totally get it. I've rolled for years using my next best friend, the trash bag. Trash bags can be used for a makeshift poncho, they can cover bags, cover backpacks, and even be used as a splash guard to prevent the dreaded wet biker butt. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you simply sit on the trash bag on your bike seat, and then you'll want to tuck the top edge of the trash bag into your pants under your rain jacket. It'll be like a bit flappy, but works in a pinch. It's in the 40s today, so I'm going to opt for some gloves. These ones aren't super waterproof, but they'll do for today. I've also used dish gloves and sanitary gloves over top of normal gloves before. Again, do what works for you and what makes you feel happy. Another rainy day game changer is a good playlist. Nothing can make your ride more enjoyable on a crummy day than your favorite tunes. Make sure your phone is somewhere very waterproof. If you're worried, put it in a Ziploc bag or two to make sure it'll survive. If you're not using a waterproof Bluetooth speaker, I'd recommend only putting in your right earpiece so you can still hear traffic and cars to your left while biking. All right, now it is actually time to seal up all the cracks, put on our helmet, and get ready to ride. If you put your helmet on over top of your rain jacket, make sure that you readjust your helmet so that it fits properly on top of the extra layer. Safety first, especially in the rain or snow. If it's chilly, you can protect your eyes with sunglasses, safety goggles, or a pair of ski goggles like I'm doing here. Again, do what works best for you. And as soon as I went to leave, I forgot that I have not ordered a part to fit my rear rack to my new bike, so I ended up going with the old school backpack method, which as you can see is oh so stylish. Depending on the day, lights are always a good option on particularly dark and rainy days. Another great rain investment is fenders. These run anywhere from 30 to 100 plus for a set, keeps your butt, legs, and shoes way more dry than without them. And just like that, you are ready to go. Once you get where you're going, hang your things up to dry and you're all set. Getting out of the house to bike on a rainy day can really feel like a pain, but I hope once you're out there, you can take in the beauty of the scenery and feel that air and rain on your face. Biking is freedom, so let's enjoy it. An optional step once you get home is to do a quick wipe down of your frame and cables and give your chain a little chain lube to help prevent rust. Don't sweat it if you can't do this, but it'll help your bike last a little bit longer. And lastly, do something nice for yourself if you're able once you get home. You deserve it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and that no matter how rainy it might be, you can get out there and get your butt on a bike. All right, see you next time.